Rutgers in all of college football. Michigan running onto the field, getting ready to take on its rival from about an hour north of Ann Arbor. Michigan State and Michigan. The 67. Charles Rogers, a treat to watch at wide receiver. Well, he's the best in the country. 6'4", over 200 pounds. He can jump out of the gym. He's got great hands. Now, Marlon Jackson publicly claimed out and said, hey, I want to challenge Charles Rogers. Well, he gets his challenge today. Some overcast skies here in Ann Arbor. Had some snow showers yesterday, perhaps some more on the way, but right now it's down to a chilly 40 degrees. The wind chill makes it feel like half that, but over 107,000 people are on hand to witness this game. They can perhaps keep each other warm and are trying to stop Charles Rogers. You see Marlon right there. He's matched up with Rogers right here in this third down situation. And it is third and ten, exactly what Michigan State did not want. Dowd, Dowd, did as he throws, and he finds Rodgers for the first down. <laughs> Season numbers on him. Again, this is his second straight start. That was a 26-yard gain on third and ten. Moss, nowhere to go. Amazing blue. Jeremy Lasort again coming up with his second tackle. Carl Diggs in as well. The defensive line. backs now in. Yeah, Michigan State's 34% third downs, Pam. Conversion. They got not over the middle, but not nearly enough for the first down as he is eventually taken down by John Shaw. Yeah, but it's a good call because they give you their kicker a chance at a shorter field goal. Then you go for it all. Playing a smart, conservative game. Nothing down the field. Go ahead and dump it off to your secondary receiver. Give your kicker an opportunity to punch with 39. Certainly no chance of taking a loss on a sack, so it was a smart play. Jason Daly in to attempt a 39-yard field goal from a wide hash mark. And Daly has given Michigan State the early lead. I'll make that Dave Rayner, excuse me, Dave Rayner with that field goal. So Michigan State gets a big completion on third down and then takes it in for the first score of the game. So just a red shirt freshman third down. Navarre, first down completion to Ronald Bellamy, the senior out of New Orleans. It's a good read by John Navarre that Michigan had trips down to this bottom part of the field. What you want to do then is work away from the trips. John comes back, looks at the trip side, the three wide receiver side. Nothing there. He's going to come over and go to right to the single seat side, right here. He looked over here, got everybody moving that way. The knows where Bellamy is on a skinny post and delivers the ball low and inside. Right where you want it. He's gone back to his natural position and doing better on the outside. Third and nine. Blitz coming. Navarre gets it off. Oh, my goodness. What a catch. Jason Avant. Roderick Nelson was all over him, but Jason got it. Well, that's a great catch by Avant going across the middle. Always takes courage to go across the middle. And a nice job by Navarre holding the ball long enough to let his receiver get open. You'll see John under pressure. No, he's going to get hit. Avant going up and making the catch with his hands. Nice job with his hands. Actually pretty decent coverage right there by Michigan State. And Roderick Nelson had a nice break on the ball. Just Avant did a good job of using the hands, screening him off of his body. How about that, Chris, too? It's Avant's first collegiate career catch, and it's a memorable one. Navarre, plenty of time to find his receiver, Jermaine Gonzalez, another Michigan first down. Games coming up. That last play was a 21 yard game. Michigan now down on the 11. Askew running over a couple of folks, takes it in close to the three. A seven yard gain for Askew. Now, if you're Michigan State, you got to penetrate. You know who's getting the ball. Look for the sneak. You got a 6 6 quarterback. But they go to Askew, and he plunges into the end zone. Touchdown, Wolverines. <laughs> Scored on fourth down, and B.J. Askew scores his second rushing touchdown of the season. You've got to make the extra points. Those are gimmies. David Richard now is the tailback as Dowdell, who can run, decides to pass. It's tipped up in the air and falls to the grass, but it could have been big trouble. Marlon Jackson was right in Eric Knott's face. Yeah, that's where Damon Dowdell is. That's a cover guy. That was a big time hit. Richard picking up a couple. He is a true yeah. freshman from St. Louis. 
pass breakup away from tying Charles Woodson's single season record at Michigan. That time, the pass is complete to Knott. A lot of underneath stuff, and that's not nearly enough. On third down, they got to punt it. Jackson again on the coverage. Sanderson, the big fullback, was in motion. But going to Benny Jopper, the first time that we have seen their talented tight end, he picks up seven, and we pick up Matt Weiner. Carry a little ankle injury. Blocks on that play as Ronald Bellamy gets a couple of yards after catch. Picking up eight. It'll be second and two coming up into the season. Big expectations. High standard admissions. Perry, big hole. First down as he gets it down to the 35-yard line. That's a five-yard gain for Perry. No one is with. Losers of five of their last six. They're showing none of that, obviously, today. Navarre, pass complete to Braylon Edwards. That's going to be a face mask on the tackle. It's a seven-yard gain. Third and run, personal foul, face mask, defense. 15 yards from the end of the run, automatic first down. That's a killer. That's, that's a killer. Season. First down for the Wolverines. Askew back in the game. Showing the power. He is finally dragged down by the shoulders by Thomas Wright, the talented strong safety for the Spartans. Wright has had double figure tackles six of his last seven games. Askew breaking tackles, nose for the end zone, and he is stopped down on the one-yard line, but that will be another Wolverine first down. We'll move it back, scooch it back a couple inches, and Navarre sneaks it in himself for another Wolverines touchdown. After another Michigan State punt, already up 14 to three. Askew gets the carry and continues to move his legs forward. He picks up four yards. He now has 46 yards on the ground rushing. And this is the minus three. Certainly looks good for Michigan. And growing as Askew gets it up close to another Michigan first down. Ronald Stanley making his sixth tackle. Askew is split out to the left, and that's a huge fullback, too, and Sean Sanderson, number 44. 6'3", 290, not in the game now, is Navarre going up top for Bellamy, makes the catch! Touchdown, Michigan! And anybody criticizing Navarre, take a look at that throw, huh, Chris? Yeah, and, and you know, Suggs had coverage. Now, what happened was he lost sight and he's, he lost a sense of purpose of where he was on the football field. He's up there looking in the sky for the ball, but Bellamy's on the sideline. Sucks. Michigan has now scored on three straight possessions. Bellamy's sixth career touchdown on a nice pass by Navarre. He's passed Steve Smith and continues to climb. First and ten, David Richard. Picking up little to no game. Let's go back to Matt Weiner. Yeah, Rutgers played Tennessee, I believe, tough this year, too. So they get up for big games. I remember, though, uh, Miami came back nicely as Rodgers cannot hold on to the pass. Marlon Jackson blanketing him on the coverage. Miami struggling last week against West Virginia. Had a strong fourth quarter. Yeah, that Ten one games. Third and nine. Gardell has to throw it. But everyone is covered. Fumbles the ball, but it's out of bounds. Ernest Shazer among the maize and blue chasing him. And that secondary, boy, there really was not much of an option for yeah, Dowdell. Yeah, and, and you can see how Damon's limited in his ability to run the football because Ernest made up ground. I mean, big ground. He was, he was taking five yards a hop. Right there, close ground on Damon. Damon, you got to throw the ball away now. You can, don't eat the ball. Right here, see now his eyes are looking for, for a place to go. But his eyes aren't looking downfield. Right here, you got to throw it away. So you're outside the tackle Run box. down. So Michigan State got off to a good start, scoring a field goal on its very first possession. But then Michigan came back with three touchdowns on three straight possessions. And the Spartans, losers of five of their last six, will go into the locker room down 21-3 to Michigan. 
Bobby Williams digging his team out of yet another hole. Let's take you now to Matt Weiner.